What up, Long Beach? It's Mike and Tyler. Welcome back to your home for local sports coverage. And this Moore League football highlight is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company. Out of the clear blue sky, we find ourselves in Compton, where we've got an interesting game between Long Beach Poly and the Tar Babes. Brian Burks' Compton squad off to a tough start, uh, but did get their first win via forfeit after a 54-0 loss to Milliken last week. Yeah, so technically they are 1-0 in the league, but an injury-depleted roster missing Captain James Price III, JP3, there in the blue. Raul Lara's team, uh, kind of like a cross-country team this week in practice, they did a lot of running following their 13-0 win against Cabrillo. Weren't very happy with uh, their effort and focus in that game, so both teams want to know. Polly wanting to show that they do have that focus from the beginning, and sure enough, Kobe! Kobe. <laughs> On the opening kickoff, goes 90 yards to the tilt, a nice start to the game for the Jackrabbits. Gotta be honest with you, Mike, that Achilles looks fine. This is Kobe Williams, not Kobe Bryant. Oh. You see what I'm saying? So it's oh. like a totally different Kobe. Same name, but I see where, I see where you're coming from. Still, it's nice that he came back from Germany, the Green Mamba, I guess. <laughs> Next play, sophomore Jackie Jones with the scoop on the fumble. Opportunistic sophomore. He's just out there making plays, Mike. That's what he does. He takes this one down inside the 10-yard line. Well, and then the uh, focus sort of extending to the defensive side of the ball as well. Then James L. Brooks on the next play is going to go into the end zone. So Polly up 13-0 uh, within a minute. And then the defense obviously up to the challenge, smothering Compton's run game. Now this 45-yard touchdown from the Love Gun. Josh Love finds Christian Pabico. Love Gun. <laughs> Christian Pabico, 45 yards downfield for the score, as he was obviously excited about that. More defense from the Jackrabbits. Compton, uh, obviously a run-based offense and not able to get it going. The juice jars it loose. Caleb Turner puts the ball on the ground there. One of seven Compton fumbles in the first half. Well, and this is one of the best defenses in the state, in the nation. Polly, obviously historic for making those turnovers. Jeremy, Jeremy Calhoun going to run around. He's not camera shy. He gets into the end zone from 40 yards out. Does he score from inside 40 yards? He's just a big play guy. He sort of is. Uh, Pops forcing the fumble. Jason Fow and then Omari Lyles uh, may have taken a touchdown away from Pops by falling on that, actually. And then uh, Ty Tiedemann is going to find Dejon Logan over there on the side of the end zone. And he's like, hey, touchdown. He got me. And uh, officially, small but mighty alert. He tiny, but he got the score. Pabico again, this time from Dalton Anderson, who gets into the game to get some action. Pabico had two catches for 76 yards, both of them touchdowns. We call that efficiency, and speaking of two touchdowns, it's James Brooks as he gets in again, 10 for 6. And the Jackrabbits in control of this one pops another force fumble. Carlos Silva is going to recover it. He certainly is, and uh, this was, I have to say, a great sportsmanship shown in this game. Could have obviously sort of gotten uh, out of hand more than it was, and, and it didn't. It was very respectfully played on both sides, and uh, we get to take a look at some young talent in games like this. The sophomore Jackie Jones we already mentioned. Uh, this is his third interception of the year. And then uh, the latest in a long line of uh, Jackrabbit defenders from the Brown family. This is freshman Josh Brown, reps the 5'6'2". Uh, he's going to be a defensive end. He's moved up here from freshman uh, from the freshman level because he's huge. But he <laughs> makes the play here coming in from the backside uh, while playing linebacker. You can expect to see a lot more from both of those guys over the next three years. Jackrabbits continue to churn them out. The final 54-0 for Long Beach Poly as they continue to look like the top team in the Moore League. Poly has their homecoming against Jordan next week. Compton travels to Lakewood to take on the Lancers. For all of that Moore League football coverage, I think you already know that you're in the right spot.